Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. How's it going? Uh, last time we uh, did a bit of training, so nothing really happened. We just got a couple of levels. Luckily, this time during training, nobody fucking just died all of a sudden, so that's good. Um, so we're gonna head back up to Saffron City now and uh, kick some ass. Now uh, this is gonna be the first time you guys are gonna actually see Julie fighting properly, like on her actual like high level. That she's on, which is awesome. But, um, I guess I should have just. <laughs> I guess I should have run up to Saffron City beforehand so you guys didn't have to just watch me boringly walk all the way up there. But, you know, whatever. I'll only take a few seconds, especially if I, uh. You wanna stop running into the wall? Thank you. I'll just, uh, speed this up a little bit here. So we can, uh, get up there faster. But, yeah, we're gonna. Get in a saffron city, and we're gonna go take on the self building that's full of Team Rocket. And I think uh, once we do that, once, uh, once we do that, and we like uh, beat the fucking fighting dojo and stuff, I think that after that we'll probably be at a good level to uh, take on Sabrina without there being like too much trouble. I can imagine there's still gonna be maybe some trouble, but not a lot of trouble. Like it's not gonna be like. I'm gonna get fucked and have no chance, kind of thing, you know. It's not gonna be like that, thank God. Cause uh, yeah, I'm still really scared that she's gonna just utterly destroy my team. Cause I'm pretty sure her highest levels like somewhere between 45 and 50, and our highest levels only on 40. So you know, kind of worrying, kind of worrying. I don't know why I went in the Pokemon Center. Why the hell did I do that? We just, we don't have to heal or anything, we just go straight into the self-building. So yeah, let's do this. Let's kick some Team Rocket ass for like the fourth time or something. Okay. Now this place is kind of big, so this is probably not going to be all in the one video. Because uh, this is like 11 floors and it's just full of trainers. So uh, I'm just going to run through this, run through it and see what happens. So we'll probably end up being split into two videos for this. Uh, for this thing. Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle. Oh, Golbat. Nice. Too bad I have a Julie with fucking Flame Wheel, bitch. Boom. Ah, there we go. Nice. And that's Zubat. You know, if the Golbat can't beat me, surely the Zubat can. I'm trying to remember when Julie actually learns uh, Flamethrower. I think... Ah, oh, what is it? I think it's 40... Maybe 44? I have Like, I'm thinking off the top of my head. But and I think th I'm probably still thinking of, like, this is the level she learns moves in uh, Crystal, like Gold, Silver, and Crystal, because I use Typhlosion a lot in those games. I've never used a Typhlosion in a Gen 3 game because you never really get a chance to use one in a Gen 3 game. Um, so I don't really know what if the levels are different for this one. But I think it's probably like 42, 44 ish. I know about those kind of levels that she learns flamethrower, which will be awesome. So we can, yeah. Uh, I mean, flame wheel's not terrible, but you know, it'd be nice to have a a really powerful fire attack like flamethrower. Scientist Jerry. Oh, you got Magnemite. That's no problem. Jelly, just to fucking destroy everything. I'm curious as well. I'm trying to think of if where the frickin' if there's a move to her in this game that uh, teaches those uh, elemental punches. Because off the top of my head I can't remember. And it would be awesome because then we could give Julie Thunder Punch. Which would be great because that means if we're ever in a situation where she's up against a water type she doesn't have to worry too much. But I don't think... I can't remember where the fuck those guys are in this game. Like, god damn. Hello. No kids are allowed in here. Well... Do I look like it? Ask me if I give a shit. Like... I'm just kick- I'm just kicking all your asses. Do, does it look like I care about whether I'm allowed in here or not? I'm fucking cube on his about. You've got no chance. Absolutely no chance, dude. Tough. Is that all you've got to say? Kids aren't wanted in here. Gets his ass kicked. Tough. Like, 
the fuck? Uh, okay, we can't do anything over here yet. Uh, yeah, we're gonna basically... Um, I don't know how other people really do this part of the game, but I'll usually, like, I'll just go up each floor individually and fight every, all the trainers I can, and, uh, to, like, get all the items and stuff I can, and then once I've got the card key, and then, like, even after I get the card key, I'll, I'll still not open any of the doors, and then I'll go back down to level 1, and then go up all the floors again, and use the card key on all the rooms to get everything that I've missed, and then I'll go up, and then once I've done all that, I'll go back to where the, to, like, where you go to go fight, like, Team Rocket, like, where you go to, the, like, to beat Giovanni, like, the final guy in here, and then I'll go through there and do that, but, like, I'm gonna go up each floor, even, so, after I get the card key, I'm not gonna be opening any doors right away, it won't be until after I've done everything on the floors first, then I'm gonna go back and, like, with the card key and open all the doors, so don't, like, be like, oh, why are you not using the card key on the door, it's right there, like, I just prefer to do it that way. I don't know why, I've always done it that way. <coughs> Sorry about that, had to, like, cough a little bit. Uh, okay, is there any more in here? No, 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 no. Okay. I think that's everything. So this is actually, the, this is the floor that you use to get to the last boss. It's, uh, the teleporters behind these doors here. But, we're not going to be going there for a little while, so let's head up to fourth floor. Uh, oh, an aim. No, not the laptop. TM41 Torment. Meh. Intruder spotted! Calm down. Calm down, calm down. Okay, what you got? Oh, an Ekans. Okay. Oh. Oh no, Intimidate. It's not like I'm going to use special attacks on you. There we go. And a Cubone. Flamethrower. Oh, not Flamethrower, Flame Wheel. God damn it. No, nearly up to level 40 here, Julie. And then we can switch in who? Is it Tyler, I think, is the only other person? He's the only other guy in the team who's not got uh, up to level 40, I think. Who are you? None of your business, bitch. Didn't mean that. Pokemon. Uh, oh no, it's Tyler. Crash, even. Why the hell was I not using Crash? In the last video. Oh well. Oh, yeah, we were training in the fucking... I was thinking of the gym for some reason. Last video we were training on the fucking... in the ocean against all water types. That's why I wasn't using him. That's why he's, like, still level 38 compared to everyone else. But, these guys have all got, like, fucking shitty poison types and stuff, so Crash ain't got a problem. Oh, of course. Of course. The fucking... As soon as I switch to Crash, the first opponent he gets is against a fucking fighting type. God damn. Magnitude 6, that might not even kill it. Oh, there we go. It did. It's fine. Crash, we need to get you a fucking earthquake, dude. When the hell are you gonna learn that? Also, Rock Blast is pretty awesome. Until we get, um... I don't even know if I want to give him Rock Slug, you know that? Because, like, Rock Blast... Um... Let me just look here. What is Rock Blast's accuracy? 80. So it's more accurate. I think it's. I think it's just as accurate as Rock Throw, and just a little more accurate than Rock Slide. And it only needs to hit three times to be as powerful as Rock Slide. But then it can hit two more times after that as well. So it could potentially be more powerful than Rock Slide as well. So I'm like really tempted to just keep that and not get Rock Slide at all. Because as well as well as that, I could also give Rock Slide to somebody else on the team that could use it, you know. So I think I'm probably gonna keep just keep Rock Blast on Crash for the rest of the the game. Because it's a pretty awesome move, power 25, and it has 25 times. But you know, not my luck. I'm just gonna hit two times, fucking like 90 percent of the time. So go figure. Hey, love 39. I didn't learn anything. Cough, cough. And then, yeah. Oh, we got this guy who's not really a Team Rocket guy. What? 
There shouldn't be any children here. Is that right? Juggler Dalton. You got a weird name, dude. Kadabra. And make a punch. And the ah, oh, side beam. God, Kadabra, why? Ah, oh, fucking crash. Why? Okay, what? Is this Kadabra speed time with my fucking golem? Is that what just happened? Oh, Mr. Mime. Eh, yeah, rock blast to the face. Boop. Fucking Mr. Mime, I tell you. And whenever I'm playing, uh, whenever I'm on Pokemon Showdown, like doing some, like, uh, Wi Fi battles kind of stuff, every time someone uses a fucking Mr. Mime, I keep forgetting that he's fucking fairy type in the new generation. God damn. I think I actually lost a battle the other day because I fucking forgot that and tried to use Psyshock on him. No, not, not the Psyshock, what am I talking about? I think, yeah, I, I was setting up. I fucking had a Sylveon, on, and I set up a fucking, I set up a substitute, and then like started using Calm Mind a bunch of times, and like then Mr. Mine came out, he fucking broke my substitute, and then I went to use fucking dra uh, Draining Kiss on him, and I didn't kill him because he was fucking resistant to it, and I didn't mean to do that, <laughs> and then he fucking killed my ass, and I was just like, oh god damn it, I mean, fuck. At least I think that's what happened. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying, I don't even know if I'm remembering that correctly, but it was something like that. It was something along the lines of... It was something like I had set up some moves and a Mr. Mine came out. I tried to attack it, and because it was fair type, it resisted it and didn't kill it, and then it fucking killed my ass, and I was just like, oh god, really? Fuck me. I think it was myself on anyway, because I remember getting fucked over after I'd done all this work setting it up. Very, very, very annoying when that happens. But uh, yeah, Pokemon Showdown. I just recently found out about that. Like I used to use, um, I used to use the Pokemon Online app. That was like a battle simulator kind of thing. Um, I don't know if it's the same people, like that make it or what. But uh, yeah, after after a lot of while, I uh, I stopped like using it a lot. Like I, I just didn't go on it for a while, uh, especially after X and Y came out, because I was spending so much time just playing the games. And, uh, yeah, I just recently saw, who was, yeah, Shofu, who I watched, who's a good, great fucking Pokemon YouTuber. If you like Pokemon videos and you've not seen his stuff, you should definitely go check it out. Um, yeah, he was doing some Pokemon Showdown videos and it looked really good. Like, um, yeah, it's like, the interface is a lot better, I think, than Pokemon Online was. Um, or at least the last time I used Pokemon on me. I don't know if it's been updated since the last time I used it. Um, but like, it's really good. Like, if when you're, because when you're um, setting up your team, you can give your four moves that you want to give to a Pokemon, and then it'll like it'll recommend a good like like good stats, like good like a, like what a good EV spread in nature is for that move set you've given it, which is pretty awesome. I mean, I've not always agreed with it 100%, like, uh, there's been times I've been like, oh, well, I don't want to use that kind of spread, I want to use this certain spread, you know? But, like, overall, it's pretty fucking awesome. And, uh, yeah, and, like, and when you're in a battle, the, uh, all the Pokemon, it seems like a lot of the sprites are used from X and Y, and they're all, like, animated and stuff, like, in the games, and, like, they've made, like, little animations for, like, some attacks that look pretty cool. So, yeah, it's really fucking... It's awesome. So if you, if you, I mean, if you're a fan of doing like Pokemon battles, um, but you don't have the time to like, you know, sit and fucking spend a hundred hours breeding, fucking and EV training Pokemon and X and Y, but you want to like do online battles, that's a great way to do it. You go there, do some online battles, and yeah, you can just inst you can just make your team and like. 10 minutes, half hour, depends how long you want to spend on it. But yeah, you can make a team like really quick and then just jump into some battles. It's fucking awesome. So I definitely recommend downloading that and playing on it. Um, should heal crash here. It's a bit low on H the old, bit low on the old HP there. Uh, I don't think anyone in here battles me. The rocket came and took over the building. Yeah, I think these are all just like hostages and stuff. They must have tangled. Wait, they must have targeted self for our Pokemon products. Well, a new fucking shit. 
Your beaten team. You dare. Okay, well. Did he just say you dare betray Team Rocket? I mean. I can only really betray you if I was on your side in the first place, which I never was. So. Your statement is just totally false. You dipshit. Also, Cra I just realised Crash is kind of running low on PP for some of his attacks, especially Rock Blast, because it's like all I've been using. Um, I think I have an Ether, probably in my bag. I can give him. And go back. Let's just make a punch it. I'll probably knock it out. Or not. I'll just do it again. Fucking go bats, man! I tell you. And up, and when I'm when I do battles now. Fucking go bats are a pain in the ass. Those things are pretty annoying because they're so fast and they carry defog. It's like really annoying trying to. Because I like to like. <clears throat> I like to run a smeargle. Uh, like a support smeargle kind of set. Not really support, but like. Like I like to run a, a smeargle that like comes out, has uh, sets up like a stick of web and some stealth rocks, and then uh, uses destiny bond. To like uh, try and take someone out with them because, like you know, obviously, if something's setting up, you want to kind of get it the fuck out of there pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, but those fucking go bats just totally fucking they're just a pain in the ass with that. They just come out and defog, and then all my shit's gone, and it's just goddamn annoying. I mean, it, hmm, it's really strange to me, like. Defog has been around since Generation 4, but like it seems like the move gets used a lot more in Wi-Fi battles nowadays than it did back then. Even though back then there was like all the moves like Stealth Rocks and stuff that would like set up stuff. But people don't really didn't really seem to use Defog back then. It was usually like you would just have a rapid spinner on your team. So, I don't know, it's really, I don't know, it's weird that all of a sudden Defog has become like this norm. I guess maybe because there's a lot more Pokemon that could learn it, that are maybe in like OU and stuff, that people just started using it. But, um, I don't know, for me it's just strange. The certain like moves that didn't get used before are now getting used a lot. I guess because it's just more effective. Uh... Oh, this guy's just got a bunch of fucking Magnemics, hasn't he? Do do do. There we go. And the coughing. God damn. You and your goddamn levitate coughing. Not the fuck out. There we go. Um, where did we come from that way? Yeah, we did. Uh, nothing really else to do on this floor, I think. So let's head up. Uh, we're on floor 7. Okay. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Oh yeah, I forgot about you guys. The four Rocket Brothers and you all still suck just as any other Rocket guy does. And Magnitude. Six. Ah. Keep one. Why? Boom. There we go. And another cube one. Hmm. Weird, huh? Okay, there we go. Knocked out. Finally. Ah! Brothers, I lost. Yeah, okay. Oh, another trainer. What have you got, dude? Uh oh, I smell a little mouse. Hey, fuck you! You call him a little mouse, you bitch. I will fuck you up. Oh, racket. Interesting. Oh, Crash, why? Okay. Alright, Crash. One time's enough. 80% accuracy, dude. 88% accuracy. I mean, the fuck, dude. The fuck. You missed three rock blasts in a row. 80% accuracy, and you missed three fucking times. 
God damn, Crash. Get your shit together, dude. Okay. Wanna hit this one? No? You wanna just keep missing? God damn, what the fuck? Get some fucking glasses on, Crash. Jesus Christ. Well, you're level 42 anyway, so I'm not gonna be using you anymore. Gonna have to switch out to somebody else. Get some of those team members up a few levels here. Lights out. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, who do we want to use? Not Lani, because she's not really going to do well against other poison types. So let's get Ashley out here. And yeah, that'll do. Ashley, you can come out and kick some ass. I am. Oh, a calcium. Hehehe. <laughs> you missed me for. You. I can't talk today. You mistook me for a self worker. Yes, I did. Well, not really, because I've seen like a million other scientists that have been fighting me, so I kind of figured you were probably going to fight me too. Oh, an electrode. Ooh. Oh, screech. Hmm. It's really weird how, uh. Usually in the main game of Pokemon, anytime you fight an Electrode, it's very rare that it has an electric attack. <laughs> or it seems to be anyway. It seems to be all they use is like Screech, Sonic Boom, Explosion, or Self-Destruct, and then like usually some other move like Charge. Like it's, it's so, it seems to be very rare that you actually see an Electrode using an electric attack. Even though they can learn a bunch. Very weird. Is everything on this floor? Yeah. Well, let's head up to floor number eight. That's as far as you'll go. Oh, was that right? You and whose army? A racket, huh? Surf bitch. Oh, quick attack. Oh, and our book. Well, you're just gonna get side kicked. And a coughing, you're just gonna get psychic too. What else you got? And go back. Guess what you're gonna get? Nice surf. Uh surf was a plenty to take out. Did what did you say? Not enough grit? If you don't turn back, I'll call for backup. Yeah, whatever. Not like I've beat a million of you already. An iron. Finding a bunch of these items. Team Rocket's boss is terribly cruel. To him, Pokemon are just tools to be used. What will happen if that tyrant takes over our company? I don't know. He'll use the Master Ball to go capture Mewtwo and then use that to take over the world? I am one of the 40... No, oh, god damn it. I don't know how many of you have already beat, but... I'll beat another one. And a wheezing. Well. Psychic bitch. I'm coughing. Okay. Got something a lot more challenging than those, have you? I go back. Brothers, okay. You guys suck. I'll leave you up to my. <laughs> I've already beat God knows how many of them. Uh, you a trainer? Yes, you are. You're causing us problems. Yeah, of course I am. You guys are assholes. Parker, huh? Oh, Grima. Something different, kind of once. Hmm. Uh, oh, level forty-two for Ashley. You learning anything? Nope. An electrode, huh? Yeah, Lani, you wanna come in here and take care of this thing? Since you're not really gonna be getting much XP here. Ah, uh, Giga Drain it. Oh, wow, it does actually have an electric attack. And it fucking paralyzed me, are you shitting me right now? God damn it. Fuck you, electrode. Ha! 
Huh? I lost? Yeah, you fucking lost. You had two Pokemon, I had fucking six. Uh, da 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 da. Really old. Okay. Um. Danny, you wanna jump in here? And then Tyler, you can go up there like that. There we go. Danny can get some XP. He feels like I've not used it in a little while. Uh, did I fight everyone on this floor? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I talked to that guy in there. He's not a trainer, he was just a scientist. Uh, okay, floor 9. Uh, hey, come here. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. Oh, can you now? Let's just see you nail my Pokemon. Scientist Ed. A Voltorb. Danny. Kick its ass. Oh wow, look at that weak point that you totally nailed. Fucking congratulations, you totally fucking got me. Oh, a Magneton. Oh, look at that, I have Brick Break. Look at what I did. I nailed one of your weaknesses. Ha 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 ha. What a fucking surprise. Oh, a coughing. Well, I just won't be able to deal with that just as easily with my secret power. Fuck you, coughing. Oh wow, smog. That's totally gonna poison me even on my poison type. Totally nailed my weakness. You hammered me. Damn right I did, fucking bitch. <laughs> okay, let's see. And... I am one of... Oh, God, another one of you, huh? This probably must be the last one. A gold bat. Gold bat. You see secret power on it, eh, Danny? I'm oh, fucking confused, right? Uh, I went so long without having to deal with a confused regal bat. And, oh god, oh god, oh god, Danny, get the fuck out of there. Julie, get in here and deal with this, please. Flame wheel this bitch. A drowsy. Uh, Julie, you can just stay in and take care of this, and then I'll heal. I'll heal Danny after this fight, and then she can fight her for herself again. I swear to God, if that poisons me, great. You know, it's really weird. I think poison gas. Oh God, what's even coming out? I don't know. What is it? Oh, I have no. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, it's really weird. Poison gas. Its accuracy is like. 50% or like 60%, it's like so low. Yet it seems like any time I'm fighting someone who's an AI and they have the move Poison Gas, they always hit it. I've literally, I don't, I can't remember the last time I've seen someone use Poison Gas, like the AI use it and it actually fucking missing. Like it seems like they always hit it even though it's like such a low accuracy move. It's such bullshit. Let's give our girls some lemonade here and get them back up to full health so they can keep fighting. There we go. Okay, let's head up. In fact, is that all we could do down there? I think it was because there's a whole bunch of... Oh wait, there's something down here. Oh no, we did fight him. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, so that is everything down here. Okay, 410. Ah, uh, we can't go down there yet. And okay, so there's two more trainers. Enough of your silly games. No. I'll do what I want, you bitch. Scientist Travis. Magnemite. Brick break. Ah coughing. Ah, oh, fuck your smoke screen. There we go. No problem for Danny. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh, a bunch of items. Welcome to 10th floor. So good of you to join me. Look at you acting all fucking tough with your. Oh, wow. Actually, it has a level 33 match hook. 
Hmm. Let's just see what happens. Right, cut you, bitch. And secret power to finish you off. No problem. Uh, level 41. I'm stunned. Are you? Okay, that was we got, what we got here. A carabos. A rare candy. Oh, that'll be handy. And an ultra ball. Nice. Okay, one more floor, I think, and then we can head back down. Yes, oven floor. Ah, uh, just this guy. Okay, what you got? Oh, god damn, you got five Pokemon, dude? Jesus Christ. Well, Danny, you can just 20 all these. Oh, uh, fuck. I swear to god, if you've got like five fucking Rattas and they'll just use, like, use Quick Attack. I swear to god. Okay, good. Okay, a Rattata and a Zubat. What else you got? Another Rattata. Anything more interesting than that? No, another Rattata, really? What else? Oh, an Ekans. How fucking... God. Ah, oh, Intimidate, no. That's fine. Secret power was still enough. Gash, demolished. <laughs> you pretty much got demolished, yeah. And... What name? A zinc. We're getting a fair bunch of these uh, vitamins. Uh, so, yeah, let's head back down. For one. Okay, so that'll be it for this episode, guys. I'm going to go go to the Pokemon Center and heal up, and then we're going to come back. We're going to go through all those card key doors that we missed, and then we're going to go fight Giovanni and take him the fuck out again, and we so we can save the self building. So uh, if you like this video, leave a like and a comment. Share it with other people that you think might like it. It really helps me out. And leave a comment uh, if you got anything to say about it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.